On today's episode of the Sack and Stone Team Show, we're going to be going over top outdated items homeowners want to get rid of, the smart home tech homeowners want to have, and the top seller slip-ups. Since 1988, I have had one passion only, that is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone Team will always be cutting edge. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Lane Stone here with the Sack and Stone Team. Sack and Stone Team show episode number four. Um, as I mentioned, we're gonna be going over outdated and unwanted, unwanted items that homeowners are looking to get rid of, the smart home tech homeowners are wanting to put into their homes, and then after all of that, the top seller slip up. So let's start with the outdated and unwanted um, items that actually 70% of home, homeowners are admitting to having at least one of these. So number one, linoleum floors. Yes, that's very 1960s, but guess what? There's something new and similar that looks, and it's very cost effective. It looks really, cost effective. It looks really nice. It's vinyl plank flooring. So the vinyl plank flooring can come in wood planks, which are really popular right now. And it can come into almost anything that you want it to look like. But what's really important and really fun about the vinyl planks flooring um, is that it's waterproof, it's pet friendly, it's easy to uh, replace, to take out. It's a really good product that um, if we're looking for a budget friendly uh, alternative to linoleum flooring, we're definitely pushing the vinyl plank flooring. Uh, the number two are the popcorn ceilings. Yes, people are still admitting to having popcorn ceilings, but a uh, simple solution, you can scrape them. Uh, sometimes you get to a home where the popcorn ceiling is more of like a cement, so it's not as easy to scrape, but there are different solutions, so talk to us about that too. Uh, one of the easy solutions, you put like a piece of drywall there um, and then do a retexture, or you can kind of smooth it out with a paste. But again, uh, the number two are popcorn ceilings. Number three, wood paneling. So sometimes you still see it in the homes, I guess we're talking a lot of 1960 stuff now, but the wood paneling is still up. Get rid of the wood paneling. Uh, 70, uh, that's one of the items that 70% of homeowners are admitting to having. Another one is ceramic, ceramic tile counters. Uh, you'll see on the countertops of a lot of homes that are a little bit outdated, the one inch by one inch white tile. Uh, obviously today people are going quartz, they're going granite, just a hard stone, make it look seamless. Um, so that'll be an item to look at getting rid of. Uh, the shag carpeting. I can't believe that we're still talking about shag carpeting here, but I guess some people have installed it over the years and more recently. But again, that's another item that homeowners are looking to get rid of. And the final item on the list are the avocado green appliances. Now I'm not really, um, I'm a little colorblind. So I'm assuming that one of the colors behind me might be an avocado green. And there's actually probably, if you'd speak with an interior designer, some really cool ways to incorporate avocado green, but that did show up on the list. And this list was provided to us by the California Association of Realtors. Um, now, what are items uh, that homeowners are looking to put in there? They're looking to put in a, a lot now, smart tech items. So what are some of the uh, top smart tech items that home, homeowners are looking to put in their home? The, number one are the wireless um, uh, wireless alarm system. So your wireless alarm system being like Ring, Arlo, Blink to name a few. What's really cool about using a company like Ring is that they do provide a bunch of other stuff that you can kind of keep under one hub and we can talk about that a little bit later. Another one would be a, uh, the next, next on the list is a keyless entry. After keyless entry we have smart locks. After smart locks, we have exterior cameras. So when we talk about exterior cameras, I personally have the Ring Spotlight Cam. Uh, so you can do a full alarm system, wireless alarm system using Ring. You can do the Spotlight Cam, you can do the doorbell, and it all stays really nicely under one hub. So I definitely wanna recommend that. The last one are smart heating and cooling systems, something like a Nest. Uh, the one thing that I want that you should avoid that I've personally made the mistake on in the past when it comes to smart home technology is I bought a bunch of different companies items so I bought the ring uh, doorbell I, I have an Amazon indoor camera I have the nest uh, smoke and co detectors and the and the um, thermostat but each one to they, they require different accounts and they require different payments so it's nice to have everything under one hub if you can so just make sure when you're doing the smart home tech upgrade to try to stay with one company that you're no like trust and that you're happy with now, after all of that, you have the uh, you're getting rid of the unwanted homes. You're putting you're, the unwanted items in your home. You're putting in the smart tech into your home. But let's say somewhere down the road you need to sell. That's fine. That's where we come in. You give us a call. Uh, but here are some top seller slip ups that we want to make sure that you avoid. The number one is that your home has an odor. 
Uh, sometimes you walk into a home and your first impression is, wow, they definitely have pets or wow, this homeowner is a smoker. So we want to avoid that going into it. So re rely on the opinions of others when uh, you're having a consultation in your home because sometimes those smells, whether it's a pet odor, odor or a smoke odor, we're used to ourselves. I have a dog, it, it may smell like a pet uh, in there and I might not know because I'm used to that smell. So definitely rely on the opinions of others, but there are professional companies that are out there that are gonna be able to get rid of those odors for you. Uh, the next item is that your home might be a little too personal. So depersonalization is really important. Uh, we always bring in a stager who's a personal designer by trait. Um, she will definitely come in and be the bad guy and let you know, okay, this, these photos need to come off the wall. This color on the wall might be too custom. So neutral is better. Taking every all the um, personal items down is going to be beneficial to you for a couple of reasons. One, you want the homeowners when they visit your home to picture themselves and their family in the home. They don't want to think about you and your family and thinking about how they might have grown up in the house. They want to see their kids or they want to see themselves growing up in that house or the color that's very custom might not be a favorable color to uh, somebody else coming in. But if you put, choose a neutral color, it's more of like a blank canvas. Anybody can see past that and also it gives us, uh, when we do our staging, a really good uh, starting point and the, the photos will look great. Um, the next item is that the sellers hang out at the open house. We've never experienced that, but it did wind up on the California Association of Realtors top seller slip up list. Do not hang out at the open house. It's another reason why, uh, what, uh, the, another reason why people want to, you know, make, they want to feel like they, um, they, they can see themselves in the home. Again, just like the last one. So when you're, when you have a seller there, it's kind of blocking that. They also can't openly criticize the home. They want to express their own opinions about it. Um, and you can't really do that with the seller lingering there and, and standing during open house or even showings for that matter. Occasionally we do have sellers that want to be present for showings. We ask that they maybe take a walk around the block during that time because it's really, really important for the buyers to express their opinions freely, openly, but also see themselves in that home. That's what's gonna get your home sold in less time for a top dollar. Uh, the very last item on there is that, believe it or not, sellers turn down showings. Look, you hire us to sell your home for top dollar in less time and we're the best ones to do so. Um, however, uh, when we generate these showing opportunities, you're going to have to take it on the chin, so to speak, and have these uh, agents and the buyers come in and, and take a look at your home. It, it's f no more than a month, hopefully. Hopefully it's the first weekend and you won't have to deal with it that long and that's why you hire professionals like ourselves. But if you want to get the best price in the least amount of time, accommodate the showings. Please don't be difficult for us. And those were the top four seller, uh, top four seller slip ups. Again, thank you for watching today's episode. I hope you learned something new. Uh, as always, subscribe to our channel, look for future episodes, and go Sack and Stone team. At the Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email, and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Today on the Sack and Stone Team Show, we're going to be talking about the most outdated and unwanted items that buy...